views expressed in the videos are my observation, analysis of events, persons based on principles of astrology. It's not my intent to predict, forecast absolute outcomes, only suggest how they may unfold. Nothing is set in stone. I could be wrong, but often I'm right. My desire is not to promote fear, only inform about what we see unfolding. It is our wish to prepare our subscribers for events that could affect them, their family, their goals, and their future, to help to prepare for what you may already feel suspect is happening, and to send a warning shot across the bow and raise a flag of concern. Our goal is to help, not hinder, in these perilous times, to inspire and offer possible direction, and to reveal that a greater plan and purpose are behind all that is happening. Eventually, we will see a brighter day. If you would like to show your appreciation for our work on these videos or this channel, and also the Knowing Whispers channel, you can always click on the word thanks at the bottom of all the videos. Hello everybody, it's Robert Cosmar, the Astrology of Life YouTube channel and the Knowing Whispers YouTube channel, and also the Knowing Whispers Messages from the Universe group over on the Facebook channel. Today my video, I haven't got a title for it yet, but it's going to be centering around the midterms. What I've discovered in these charts that I'm going to show you is some concerning information as to what this particular event could entail in regards to, um, this, in terms of how people are going to react to what we're talking about here in the midterms on November the 8th of 2022. The first chart that I'm going to show you right here is a chart of the United States of America. And what I'm going to be talking about here is the fact that on that day, November the 8th, 2022, we have a full moon. But on top of that, we have a total eclipse full moon on that day. Now, for those of you that know about full moons and a lot of the world gives some credibility to the full moon. Uh, hospitals, police, and things like that know that around the time of full moons, there seems to be a lot more emotional disturbances, a lot more aggressiveness, a lot more of, you know, behavior, unseemly behavior. Okay? Well, <clears throat> here we are taking a look at the chart of the United States of America. We're looking at November the 8th, 2022, and we're seeing that there is a total lunar eclipse okay full moon lunar eclipse and something else is going on here you'll notice down here right next to the moon at 15 degrees Taurus at approximately 17 degrees of Taurus is the planet Uranus okay so what is this telling us all right we're talking about the energy of the full moon. We're talking about the energy of an eclipse, a total lunar eclipse. Okay? Intense emotions. We're talking about it conjuncting, okay, the planet Uranus. Uranus represents revolution. It represents change. It represents freedom. Uh, it represents unexpected events that occur. Uh, things that are not of the, quote, the logical reasoning norm, so to speak. So, based upon this chart right here, I feel pretty comfortable in saying that on the day of this particular midterm election and stuff, things are going to be quite intense, quite erratic, possibly very disruptive and disturbing. Uh, it's difficult under the circumstances to say how severe this could be. But from the other video that I did some weeks ago in regards to Saturn and Jupiter and this particular day and the aspects to either of these and the fact that Saturn essentially represents your um, uh, Democratic Party and Jupiter represents your Republican Party. Okay, I inferred in that particular video that I thought that Based on that information, the possibility is, is that the Democrats would probably take a pretty good hit, which is what everybody has been saying. But, okay, as you have probably learned by now when you watch my videos, 
you don't want to go along with the emotional pull of what everybody says because the astrology doesn't go on the emotional uh, feelings of people okay it deals with something far more deeper it deals with karma it deals with uh, energy consciousness and things of this particular nature so again in this particular video this particular factor that I'm entering in here at the least it indicates that things around the midterm elections are going to be very volatile and very intense and the fact that this is happening in Taurus could also indicate that financially things could become affected by all of this instability okay this change you might even say that this is forced change okay might even be a better word for what we're talking about here all right so this is one picture okay uh, as you know I like to use a lot of different charts because uh, you find out that when you use different astrological charts or even different astrological systems that they all essentially support each other they may say it differently but when you interpret the language so to speak the astrological language of aspects and planets and houses and things uh, you begin to see that these particular systems are just simply saying the same thing from a different point of view and we have something else here that I'm going to show you that I think that um, is worthy of our concern all right this again is the chart of the United States of America now in fairness it needs to be said that the exact time of the chart of the United States of America is not absolutely known this was a chart that was rectified looking at several historical factors trends of the day uh, what society in, in terms of when people ate dinner and stuff like that all of this was essentially looked into by a historian by an astrologer who was a historian so it's possible this could be off in terms of the actual exactness of the time here which is essentially assumed to be around 5 15 p.m. or 5 13 point 55 I think p.m. but I use 5 14 okay I rounded it off now what's significant about this if in fact this is an accurate time all right you'll notice here this up here the second wheel these are the solar arcs all right now solar arc progressions are different than secondary progressions all right solar arc progressions simply are the motion of one degree per year of all the planets since the time when you were born or an event was born and you'll notice in this particular chart here these two charts that we have Pluto in Libra almost exactly in the tenth house okay of the chart of the United States of America Okay, again, here we have another potential confirmation for the circumstances surrounding the energies of that day. In other words, from an astrological standpoint, when you look at the aspects, the planets and the houses, and you weigh the different factors involved, it's giving you an indication of the turbulence or the relative placidity of that period of time, whether or not things are calm, whether or not things are are growing you know and um, uh, peaceful or whether or not there's extreme volatility and when you're talking about Uranus Neptune and Pluto you're talking about the unknown things that we cannot conceive of logically you know we can tell from the way things have been going that we are in the period of massive change change that is really uh, beyond our ability to reason beyond our ability to understand and control and therefore it requires us to look at these times from a much more um, internal level a much more aware level okay the times ahead of us are extremely important that we are aware and understand what it is that is going on and why it is going on the alternative to that is to be caught up in the emotional chaos and the fear which already is starting to eat away at the fabric of American society okay and again as I've said many times before the reason why we have the knowing whispers channel 
is to talk to you about the changes that you're going to be going through and facing, the changes in society, and the things that you can do to protect yourself from being, uh, from being swept away okay, by the emotion and the fear of things that you see happening that are not going back to the peaceful days of the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, but are in a particular period of time of tremendous upheaval, uh, no logic to what's going on, um, just a relatively insane time in which it seems like that some force beyond our own good common sense has taken over and is shaking everything up. And we have to be able to find our way through that. We have to be able to find the truth for us individually through these times. If we hope, you know, if we hope to continue um, to survive on this planet. And, um, you know, of course, when you take a look at, you know, scientists and you look at other factors, there's a lot of folks, you know, or that are saying that, you know, we're getting very close here to the end of society because of the way things are going. And that, of course, is very scary and it's not wanted, all right? But we also have to accept the reality of what we're seeing, okay? And to try to come to some way of dealing with it, coping with it, overcoming, rather than to be swallowed up in it, okay? Now, there's one more chart here that I'm going to show you, and I've mentioned this in a couple of other uh, videos that I've done. On that day, you can see down here in the aspect tearing on the right hand side the planet Eris which represents strife and discord basically has moved a little past being exact squaring mercury communications okay in the chart of the United States of America and also it is still effectively squaring the planet Pluto Okay, Pluto opposing Mercury here has brought us the coronavirus. It's brought us uh, transformation in the way that we think and the way that people communicate with one another. The Eris aspect of that simply accentuates the hatred, the bitterness, the anger, the resentment, uh, all of this. When you put these three charts together, okay, you have the first chart strong emotional intensity okay revolutionary impulses the next one Pluto on the midheaven you have a situation where the forward direction okay of the United States of America the forward direction of the people that are a part of the United States of America are going to be going through intense transformation and then here this chart right here simply says that all you, you need to be prepared Okay, you need to be prepared for things to amp up. All right, this midterm is an extremely critical time, okay, for all of us. Because there are aspects to us, aspects to our nature, okay, aspects to the fear that we do our very best to acknowledge and avoid that are going to be poked. You know the old saying of poking the bear, don't poke the bear? Well... It's very possible that beginning in this period here of the midterms, what happens around the midterms going into the selection in 224 could be a very severe poking of the bear. And you can say that that bear is our unconscious fear. And the greatest fear that we all possess, okay, the greatest fear is a fear of not being in control, okay? That is the greatest fear. That is the single deepest fear that we all have is in our life something happening where we're not in control. And because we don't trust those moments, okay, that there is a higher purpose for why we're losing control, we not only don't discover the truth about things from the illusions that many of us have lived by, but we bring tremendous suffering upon ourselves because of the inability uh, to trust, the inability to understand what's going on. Um, and, and again, uh, the situation of being poked, you know, by the universe during these particular periods of time, I feel is very real. And the only way that you're going to effectively cope with that pain 
is if you are aligned inwardly with your higher self okay that you have already begun your own internal path of awakening okay very important okay as I mentioned in the beginning of the video for those of you that may not be aware I had to totally deactivate my old Facebook account get rid of it entirely create a new one it's still over there under Robert Cosmar I believe um, there is over there also a page called Knowing Whispers and a group called Knowing Whispers Messages from the Universe all right my work during these times while it still is essentially astrological also is dealing with the process of dealing with fear and the emotions that are being stirred up by the things that you see happening and helping you to align yourself inwardly with your higher senses so that you will know what your purpose is so that you will know how to deal with things that seemingly uh, make you feel out of control but essentially what they're actually doing is they're reconfiguring things so that you can live more in alignment with the higher purposes of the universe at this time okay very important extremely important okay uh, from the low of my life CJ my spiritual partner and from Toby our fur animal we thank you so much for those that are subscribers and members and those that donate monthly we thank you so much we appreciate so much those of you that showed your concern for our well-being uh, yes we were in the line so to speak of Hurricane Ivan or not Ivan Ian or Ian um, Fortunately, we weren't close enough to be hit by really strong winds, although there was, in the area we live in, a lot of damage, physical damage to some homes, roofs particularly, and a lot of trees, a lot of trees and stuff were, um, you know, cleaned of their debris. But, um, again, we thank you for your concern, and uh, we're thankful to be here. You know, we're thankful. This is the closest that we've run into of all the hurricanes that CJ and I and Toby have been in. Okay, so again, from CJ, from Toby, myself, thank you and stay tuned. We're going to keep you aware astrologically of what we see unfolding and we'll do our very best to try to help you to deal with what you are feeling, okay? Because this is going to be a very challenging time for everybody and for the world, okay? Thank you for watching.